Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £200 worth of 10 piece to have a hunt through. Looking for the output 10 piece. Ideally, the ones we still need. We're making good progress. 2018, we are missing four. We are missing D and G. Got a whole panel there. We're missing R and T. For those that aren't aware, every letter of the alphabet has something quintessentially British printed onto them or stamped onto them. Uh, so we've got W for the World Wide Web, O for Oak Tree, N for Nursing or NHS. And they were issued in 2018, but also 2019. And who knows about 2020 yet? So 2019, we're missing a fair few more. We're missing E, G. No, we've got E, G, L, M, J, R, O, V, and U. So some work required on that. But without further ado, let's get into these coins. Before we get into the questions, just a quick heads up again about my next Royal Mint tour. So I am booked on the 7th of March. Yep, 7th of March. Just don't take that. <laughs> um, so if you are in the local area, you're planning to go get the new Strike Your Own when it changes by the 7th of March. Um, do uh, do head on down and come and say hi to myself. I know that there's a whole bunch of coin tubers coming as well. So if you want to meet some of the other coin tubers as well, we're all going to be down as uh, as well. So that'll be awesome fun. It's always great meeting you guys when we do the strike your own. So uh, we booked on the one o'clock tour. I believe the one o'clock half twelve tour uh, are now sold out. But if you can get times during the day, we always hang around uh, for quite a quite a while after the tour. But also try and get there a little bit early as well to mingle and chat and have a have a great day. So anyway. Well, without further ado, let's get into the questions. So, uh, Aaron Bartal says, will there be any more coins from you that somehow represent your channel or you? Um, so yeah, I do, I, I released a Holy Toledo token. I'm looking around to see if I got one time, but I don't. Uh, it's on my website, www.christophercleks.co.uk. Um, it's about the size of a 10p. It's got Holy Toledo on it, my channel details on the back. Um, so I, there is another, there is another design I've got ready to go on one, but, um, um, my focus is a Christopher Clex collector's uh, 50p, £2 coin, 10p album kind of thing, um, which is taking a little bit longer than I was hoping to, but uh, hopefully it'll be out soon. So that's what my primary focus is, um, although there may be a new shirt coming out next week. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, I'll let you guys know when I do that, but thank you. Uh, the Scottish Coin Collector says, Hi Christopher. Uh, these are some great prizes. Your videos are great. Uh, thank you for making them. Question, what's the strangest thing you found in a hunt or gotten in the PO box? I mean, in terms of strange things I found in coin hunts, I found like two pence coins in 50p bags, uh, some foreign coins, world coins. In the pennies, I found some bizarre things. I found a, far a farthing in the penny bag, which is interesting. Um, weirdest thing in the PO box? Oh, I might even have a tan somewhere. I can't think. It was like a little claw. Oh, I have no idea what it is. People have said it was a... A crab's claw, or a, the beak of a bird, or um, a pipe, uh, a clay pipe. So there are so many people who said so many things. I still have no idea what it is. Um, so <laughs> who knows? Um, marriage is challenge is a challenge. It says uh, hi, Christopher. Love what you are doing. Uh, you're an inspiration for many. My question is: Out of all the Olympic 50ps, which sports would you love to take part in? Uh, so I am not a sporty person by any stretch of the ad imagination. The sport I liked doing at school was uh, badminton. It was just, we wouldn't play normal badminton. There'd be six of us either side of the court. We'd have about, I don't know, five or six shuttlecocks going at once. And it was just uh, an absolute melee. It was uh, <laughs> it was awesome fun, um, but I wouldn't really call it a sport. Maybe swimming. Swimming isn't too bad. Um, but I can't think of any other sport that I would want to take part in, if I'm honest. Womble Alley Collects says, Hi Christopher, my question to you is how many Benjamin Bunnies that you've signed have been found that you know of? Uh, keep them cool videos coming mate um, so two uh, so far P other people have said that they found them but they're not had pictures of it not been able to provide pictures of it so I, I don't count them but they've both been found in South Wales bizarrely uh, someone did offer to actually um, circulate them if I sent them up north circulate them in Scotland but um, I think if they're, if they're traveling as far as South Wales then the chances are they will travel uh, the length and breadth of the country so uh, but if you do find one with my scribblings on it um, do send me a picture because I'd love to see it. Uh, Adam Cater says, Ego check. New Mister currently has 115,000 registered users. So you're only about you're about a third of the way <laughs> in terms of subscribers then. I've got a little bit further now since that comment, except the comment was three months ago. Um, joking aside, love your videos. Uh, here's my question. Do you have any rules against prevent previous winners entering future giveaways? Not at all. Nope. If you've, you, especially um, the busyness of the comment section, 
on the recent, more recent giveaways, I imagine the next giveaway coming out next week um, is going to be incredibly busy. So the ch your chances of winning uh, are so slim. Then why not try and enter again? Tristan Shaw says, "Me and my wife have started to collect now. Any tips on getting large amounts of coins?" Uh, talk to your bank, explain what you're doing. Uh, they might allow you to take some out from a personal account. Uh, I've got business accounts which make a difference in some places. So um, all you can do is ask. And if your bank won't do it, try other banks. Um, and uh, if they'll let you do it, then open an account with them. Claire Bishop says, Hi Christopher, really enjoying your videos and wondering, have you thought about writing a book aimed at newbie coin collectors? You, along with the other coin tubers, have inspired me to start collecting. That's not, not a bad idea, although I'm not really a writer and I don't know what I would put in it, but maybe. Maybe. Jake Cook says, Hi Christopher, uh, what I want to know is if you sold all your coins, do you reckon you would have made any money? No idea. I don't know what I've spent on coins. I don't know what my coins collection is worth. I don't know how many coins are in my collection off the top of my head, so uh, I wouldn't have a f the faintest idea. Uh, Richard Kirby says, Nice giveaway, Christopher. Is Gruffalo 2 going to circulation? Sadly not. Uh, Reese Whitford says, Hi Chris, if you had to give up collecting, what would you do? I don't know. I don't. Why would I have to give up collecting? Um, I don't know what hypothetical situation is going to cause me to, to quit collecting. Um, I don't know. Not a clue. Uh, Lachlan T says, Question Would you still collect coins if you didn't have any unique ones in circulation? And if you did, what coins would you collect? Um, opposed to circulating ones. Um, again, tough one to answer because it's not the case. Um, I guess you collect for date runs, different dates. There's still be years that should be lower minted. Um, like, well, there, there, is, there are some years I look for anyway. 2007 on the Shields, uh, 2007 on the Shields, 2017 on the Shields, 2008 on the Britannias, 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18 on the Shields as well. So there are some years that are not commemorative coins that are worth looking for still. Um, Kim Bateman says, uh, hello, my question is, what's the first coin you found and when? Uh, it's really hard for me to say because I always thought it was WWF, but then backtracking to the year that would have been out, I was too old for that to be my, for the first coin in my collection. So I'm not sure what my first, uh, the first coin I collected was, if I'm honest. Um, bizarre stuff. Uh, hi, my name is Pip says, aside from places like Big Ben and Kew Gardens, where else would you like to see Paddington Bear visit on his travels? Would you like to see him visit other cities such as Manchester, Liverpool, Newcastle? I want I want Paddington to get around in the Union, um, to get, get him to Northern Ireland and Scotland and Wales and explore a little bit. I think that'd be great. That'd be three good coins for this year. Uh, Dan Temple says, another fantastic giveaway. Christopher, my question is, what's your favourite tree and why? Uh, favourite tree? Willow. Why not? I think the willows look quite cool there. Um, and the medicinal as well. It's the, it's the magic of tree bark where aspirin comes from. Uh, not only cricket bats, but aspirin too. Um, there's a song, isn't it? Willow Weep for Me? Willow Weep for Me? Or it's a line of a song. I can't think of the song. If you know what the song is, put it down in the comments. Let me know. Uh, Teresa O'Neill says, Do you think there would ever be a 50p collection designed with famous railway engines through the ages? I don't see why not. I think that would be a great idea. Farmer Dan YouTube says, uh, what bank do you think is best for getting coins from? It's hard to say because um, so many people have told me, oh, my Santander is really good, they'll let me get loads of coins. But then another person says, oh, my Santander are rubbish, they won't let me get any coins. So it's more about the, your branch rather than the bank itself. Um, if you've got business accounts, though, uh, the doors open a bit more for you because you pay fees for that because it costs the banks money to order coins in. Um, so your best bet, go in and ask. Uh, just someone says, do you also collect coins like Roman, Byzantine, Empire, Greek, or only modern? Because I saw one of your videos, your most oldest coin dates 1700 plus. Uh, so yeah, that was 1707 was my oldest coin for the longest time. Uh, but then someone very kindly sent uh, two Roman coins and a coin from Macedonia, ancient Macedonian coin. Um, and that is now my rarest coin. I can't remember off the top of my head what that, what the year of that coin is. Uh, but there, yeah, that's now. I, I will collect any coins I can lay my hands on. Uh, ancient coins, modern coins, coins from the future. <laughs> you name it, I'll put it in my collection. Uh, Georgina uh, Canovas, Canovas, V A S, says, Where is the best place to go to find values of your coin collection? My boyfriend's just inherited a large amount of old coins, and I thought. I'd ask you to find out for him. Uh, your best bet is not to come to me uh, and send me a hundred pictures of coins. 
uh, asking me how much they're worth. The amount of people that do that is unreal. Um, I, I, I should probably start um, charging for that service, shouldn't I? <laughs> I mean, your best bet is to go on eBay, f search the coin, uh, see what it's sold for, because you can filter it by finished sold auctions, and that will give you the best indication of what they're selling for uh, around now. Um, if you've got thousands and thousands and thousands of coins, you could take it to a, a Google coin valuation service, collection valuation service, there must be things like that going around. Um, and if you're struggling to identify them, you're identifying them, so you, them yourselves, uh, get the app Coinoscope, or Coinoscope. Um, that has saved me an awful lot of time editing my world coin videos. Have a look on Numista if it's a world coin, uh, or change check if it's a use circulating UK coin as my best advice. Bunny Moonstone says, Hi Chris, my question is, what's your top three favourite coins? Frankenstein £2 coin, Isaac Newton 50p, F Efficient Chips and the 10ps. WWE, Alonardo, uh, the, 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 actually he's the a very kind person that sent me a whole bunch of coins, including that 1707 Queen Anne crown. It was for the longest time my oldest coin in my collection. Um, so a big thank you to him. Uh, will you be having any drinking mugs merch? Uh, possibly, yeah. Uh, I'm having slight issues verifying my account on Teesprings uh, right now, so uh, I am limited to the amount of runs I can have, and I can't take down my all I want for Christmas is Q jumpers yet because I'm having problems with, with the website. But as soon as that's sorted, hopefully I can ramp that up a little bit. Bedbug says, love the channel, Chris. So nice to, to hear youngsters getting involved in this hobby as well as us old farts. My question is, uh, when you order coins from the bank, do you have to leave a deposit? Or do they charge you anything for providing the service? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I don't need to give a deposit. I take the cash, I pop it through the letterbox thing and they bring coins out for me. Uh, they do charge a service. So there's a, I think it's about a five pound a month fee to, and then also a transactional fee of about 10 pence and a hundred pounds that you pay in or pay out. Uh, but that's worth it. I mean, if you add it up over the month, um, it's the equivalent to spending that kind of money on a hobby, I guess. Um, uh, Zoe S says, what's your favorite five pound coin? So if any of you just recently got into five pound coins, um, I got the King George III five pound coin and I got the Queen five pound coin. So I would probably say the Queen five pound coin so far. Um, Steve Paris says, how long have you been collecting coins? I've collected coins on and off since I was a kid. My collection now I started back in 20, I want to say 17, 18. I can't remember. Yeah, you see, end of 17, start of 2018. Um, Katie Jones says, question, what's your favourite flavour of coin? Favourite flavour of coin? Um, it's got to be the the crisp packet on uh, error on the two, on the Paddington £2. That's going to be my favourite flavour. Favourite flavour? Favourite flavour. Favourite flavour of coin. The crisp packet error coin. Uh, Tessa says, I love watching your videos and my collection is growing bigger and bigger each week. My question is, have you any great tips for finding special 10p coins and how many are there in circulation? Uh, is there two sets of A to Z's? Thank you for creating an amazing video for amazing videos. I can't wait for the next one. Thank you, Tessa. Um, in terms of the 10 P's, my only advice is just keep on at it. They are so elusive. You've seen from my videos, I hunt through 20 pounds a week, uh, 20 pounds, 200 pounds a week, and I'm lucky to find one or two. Um, because uh, I mean, there, there are so few of them that were circulated individually. I mean, as a as a set, there's quite a few of them, uh, but nothing in the grand scheme of things. Um, but yeah, just keep at it. In yes, there's two sets. There's they're one set, but they're dated 2018 and 2019. And who knows, we may get some 2020 ones as well. Ibrahim collects says, "I really want to win. I love your videos, and you've truly inspired, inspired, and you have truly inspired to start collecting coins." So thank you. Uh, the real runic says, "Hi Chris, love the videos. Wallace and Gromit getting a stamp and uh, a stamp. Your a uh, strike your own coin." Uh, what other classic cartoon characters would you like to see? Trapdoor. Trapdoor. It's got to happen. Uh, Chubby Cookie says, Hi Chris, my questions my questions are, when did you start collecting? Already asked. Answer that. Uh, was there a specific event sparing your interest into this hobby? Not really. My dad collected things, in, coins included, uh, so I've always been kind of interested in coins. Um, so that's what started me doing it. Um, Milo Limbrick says you've mentioned before how you don't like aluminium coins uh, but what would you say is your favourite coin material? 
don't just say gold because it's the most expensive. Um, I think the silver coins I've got are stunning because the designs are so much more crisp um, and pronounced, but I, I don't mind Cooper and Nickel coins. Um, it's just the flimsy feel of an aluminium, aluminium coin I'm not massive about. We'll go for one more question from Phil Knott says, Christopher, I'm thinking of doing a mint trip. Could you tell me how long the tour takes so I can plan if I'm staying the night or not? Uh, what a good question to round it off on. So the tour itself lasts about 45 minutes. Um, from the start of the tour to the very end where they did a little presentation about the history of the Royal Mint um, and then you have as much time as you want to amble through the uh, museum I mean you can you could easily spend two three hours in that museum if you wanted to read everything take pictures um, make sure you absorb it all in um, so I mean it depends how long you're traveling I mean I'm only two hours or up down the road but I do like to stay the night before because then it's not a mad rush to try and get there on time um, but um, yeah, that, that's that's how long it takes. Uh, I, my recommendation would be to stay if you can, um, because then you've got more time to. Um, well, you, you're not racing against time to get there. If that makes any sense, because there are. I don't know. What, again, it depends where you live. Your route uh, to the Royal Mint, but there are some snarly places on my drive um, where I can get a bit caught up in traffic. But with that, we'll get back to the coins. Well, there we go, that's our finals for today. No alphabets, unfortunately, but a good smattering of territories. Four jerseys and the star finds Gibraltarian, the Great Sea, and a partridge. So, P for partridge, maybe. <laughs> well, that's ever all that leads me to do now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.